Guys, I like it when somebody say to me, officially challenge me. Let us call the guy. Officially? Listen, it's officially. This is official now. It's serious. Hello? Hello? Uh, it's you, yeah. So you are officially challenging me, Mr. Sultan? Hmm. Hello? Yeah, what do you think about our topic, the Blackstone? Uh, uh, so you want to speak about Blackstone? Yeah? Okay, no problem. Uh, let's discuss, but uh, can we introduce ourselves first? Like, uh, you are Christian Prince, I know you live in America. Do you mind if I will ask how old are you? I'm very old. How about you? Are you very young? Mm, I'm um, 28. Okay, you can add like a hundred year for me. Uh, what that? What that have? What, what that have to do with my topic? Are we going to have coffee now, and you will become my friend? What is this? You know, you said you challenged me officially. Yeah. Just go to the topic. We don't want to waste the time, your time, and my time, and the time of the people. So your name is Sultan, correct? Absolutely correct. Sultan okay. All, all of this Sultan is your name. Sultan. All of this Sorry? is your name. All of this is your name, Sultan C. Yeah, Sultan Konstantin Mehmet Huzaifa the Dai Muntjal. Oh, well, this is like Indonesian name? Sorry? Is that an Indonesian name? No, it's a name that I changed uh, through that, that Dipol or how it's called. Here in England you can change your name. And, okay. uh, I changed it. But uh, I mean, how many words? Sultan, C. Si, Mehmet, Hudaifa. The D Montaigne. What what the, the D day. Montaigne? Yeah, what the, the, the day. Ah, the day, the day. Okay, okay. So again, my, my my friend, no problem. Your name is whatever it is. I will call you Sultan as long as this is your name. So uh, tell okay, us about you. tell us about the black stone. As you see, your prophet he says is going to have uh, eyes and tongue in the day of judgment. Do you agree? Well, uh, firstly, let me uh, introduce myself, like uh, you tell my name, uh, I'm 28, as I told you, and I am a speaker of truth. Uh, uh -huh. I've been a uh, Christian, I've been born as a Christian, then I became agnostic, then I became atheist. Uh, finally, I went to U.S. over there. I met a lot of uh, lovely people who introduced uh -huh. me to church and everything. So I became. Now, how, a, how is a Krishna a doing? How how is a Krishna doing these days? Who is Krishna? I don't know because you keep saying to me I was this, I was that, I became that. And Christian, just just Christian. tell me, my, my friend, go to the topic. I, who care what you used to be, what you are? You said you are a Muslim. Go for it. Now. What do you think about the black stone is going to have tongue and eyes and they're going to witness for you in the day of judgment? Go ahead. Okay, so it's been what does it say? Huh? What does it mean? Uh, you just told that it will uh, witness on the day of judgment, yes? So yeah, but, uh, but, we, but we just heard Zachary Nayak in the video saying that the black stone is useless and harmless. So. True. If, Okay, it's true. So that's mean Muhammad is lying. Either the black stone is not going to be useful or is going to be useful. Here, according to Muhammad, you agreed that the black stone is going to have eyes and tongue as going to witness for you. So it's useful, not useless. Okay, but this is not mandatory for every Muslim. So It's not about mandatory or not. No, it's a mandatory. Whatever your prophet said, it is a mandatory. It's not up to you. So if Omar said this stone is useless and you agree with you, with him, yeah. and then yeah. you agree with Muhammad, so which one? You cannot agree with both because yeah, one of them is, is lying. Either the stone is useful or the stone is useless. It can be useful and useless at the same time. So in your opinion, two truths cannot be truth, yes? Truth cannot be truth. That's, a, that's deep. No, you just said Mohammed told that uh, the stone will witness. It's true, and uh, Zakir whatever told that uh, the stone is useless. It's true, and both of them can be in the same time right. How? If it's useless, it means it's useless. There's no benefit from it. 
it's hey, not it's, it's, useless. It's no, not useless. No, it is. He said, he said, he said that the black stone neither benefit me, neither harm me. Here, Muhammad is saying, no, the black stone is going to be resurrected in the day of judgment and is going to be witnessing for whoever touch it and kiss it in truth and is going to have eyes and tongues. So, True. okay, so is it going to be a useful tool for Allah to witness for you in the day of judgment or it is useless? It will be a, a useful tool to witness against you. Okay, uh, but, uh, but, is, but you uh, said, but you on, said, don't interrupt me. Why you keep attacking me with putting your understanding? The fact that that's why I ask, how old are you? Because you have an understanding of a little child. No so problem. I'm six years I'm old. Gonna... Okay, what little child means? Six years hey. old? Six years old? I don't know. The child who can well, be 50 you, years old, but you all the stories of your prophet, a child. all the stories of your prophet is coming from a child. And who is the child here? It's you. In one second, you say to me that the stone is useless. In the other second, you said, I agree with the prophet, it's useful. So who is the dummy and the child now? How you can be an adult, mature, and then you contradict yourself in the same sentence. Okay, look, you just asked me a question. Who is the dummy in this way? Is the dummy uh, that who understand that both of the uh, stories is true, or a dummy who don't understand it? I understand it. You don't understand. Okay, so Ex dumb, explain to us as long as you understand it. How the stone is going to witness for us and it's useful, and how it is not useful. Go ahead. The stone, Go. as it tells in the Islamic creed. The these pillars, and one of the pillars is to go uh, to keep uh, do the pilgrimage to Mecca and kiss the stone if you can, not kiss, touch it, whatever. Oh, okay. And as I told you, it's useless. Stone itself is useless. The stone, <laughs> it's just uh, an action. The action that you what action? <laughs> that you went to the Mecca hold on, hold on, hold on, stone because hold on, hold on, it. hold on. What action? The stone is an action. The stone is an action. Are you? How old are you, bro? How listen, can listen. You say the stone. Action? You say the stone yeah. is an action. How the stone is an action? It's a stone. The stone. The fact that you go to Mecca and uh -huh. touch the stone. This is action. Okay, so no, 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 hold on. I'm not asking you what do you do. I'm asking you. Listen, you see how it's, how childish you are. We ask you about if the if the stone is useless, the stone itself. I'm not asking you what you do with it. It's you can say you touch it. No, it's so useful. It's, it's useful. So why are Zachary Naik saying that he believed that the black stone neither harm do any harm, neither do any benefit, no benefit. Okay, who is Zachary Naik? Why should He's a he's a he is a he is a Muslim prophet, very well known, and uh, Muslims so, around the world they come and do Hajj to him. Don't you see? He he have more people attending him more than the Kaaba itself. Okay, good for him. I worship uh, Allah. I worship uh, Allah Almighty. Okay, what and what about him, what about what about, about uh, other? And I listen only what prophets Allah Wasallam. What about uh, Prophet Umar al Khattab? I don't know this prophet. Well, your prophet said, if there is a prophet will come after me, it's going to be Umar. And now you do not know him. Umar al-Khattab is, is a caliphate. And he's the companion of Muhammad. And Zakir Naik, in fact, he was quoting Umar al-Khattab. So you uh -huh. are calling me, listen, you are calling me and you said you want to challenge me officially. And yes. you do not know that the one who said that sentence is Umar, not Zakir. And he kind of was the... Prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What? I'm asking you. Are you saying to me that you do not know that the one who said that sentence that the black stone neither harm me neither benefit me is Omar? Obviously you do not, because you thought it is Zakir like Naik who said that. that. Okay, Omar al-Khattab is named no, by I your prophet you, to, be prophet, to be a prophet to be a prophet after him. Umar al-Khattab called to be a prophet after Muhammad. Muhammad called him. He said, if there is a prophet okay. come to me after me, it's going to be Umar. And Umar, okay. he said... And, and stop, 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 stop. And what Quran says? That Muhammad is the last prophet. Where in the no, Quran it says Muhammad is the last prophet? Somewhere. Somewhere? So you call me yes. to do official challenge to say to me somewhere? Of course. 
Oh, is that how official challenge work? Somebody ask you, you say somewhere, huh? And your your name is long like a train. Yes. Okay, but you do not know where it did. It, it, it says that in the Quran somewhere. I will find you if you. I will can call you tomorrow and tell you exactly where. You need to call me tomorrow to find the verse. Will take me two seconds to find. Here we go. I found it for you. Chapter thirty-three, verse number forty. Okay. Thank yeah, you. But but it doesn't say he is the last prophet. That's false. It says he is the seal who stamp on the prophet, which means he is the one who confirmed the prophet before him. Khatim. Khatim is seal. Khatim word means seal. He is not the okay. last prophet. Yeah, so you Muslims, you lie when you say that this is about is Muhammad seal? being a false No, a seal mean he is he, he is the one who confirmed all the prophets before him. That's all. Nowhere it says oh. this is he's the last prophet. Seal, uh, it means also when you seal, you end. The seal <laughs> of the prophet. He did not seal anything uh, because it's, it's still, more, my friend, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not up to you. It's, it's not, it's me not me up to you. Of, uh, Hold on. Time to say something. Hold on. Jumping, jumping. Hold okay. on, this is not how a conversation uh, this is how this is no this is how a confirm you know are you going to teach me Arabic? Seal, seal in Arabic is a khatam. Khatam, khatam, khatam is a stamp. This is what khatam means. Stamp. Do you stamp. Have logic? Do stamp. You have logic? stamp. Mm -hmm. Khatam okay. is a stamp. Okay. So okay. he is the stamp of the Prophet, which means he is the one who confirmed all the Prophet before him. That's it. Same time, okay. when you say Muhammad is a prophet, can you give me the prophecy in the Quran, which is proven to be a prophecy? Mm, yes, like people building uh, buildings in the desert. This is in the Quran? No, this is the prophecy, is what he said. Okay, people building in the desert before Muhammad. Isn't it the Kaaba is a high building in the desert anyway? And it exists before Muhammad? Isn't it all the people of Yemen, they build high building in the desert and it's high building? Isn't it the city of Betra is a very high in the mountain, massive buildings? So this is always exist before Muhammad. What is new? Nothing new. This exists thousands of years before Muhammad. In the top of that, shouldn't the prophecy be in the Quran? So you're a prophet, he prophesied, but his prophecy is not in the Quran. It's a hadith, which is written by somebody 300 years after Muhammad. Jude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you understand to what? No, no, I don't understand. Uh, no, no, you understand. So I'm asking you, give me a prophecy from the Quran, proving that Muhammad is a prophet. As an example, I can give you one. Do you want to help you? No, I don't want. Okay, you then help me. You, you tell me. Give me a prophecy from the Quran about Muhammad being a prophet. Go ahead. As I just told you, the what you told me that it will be buildings that the. Uh, but this is not in the Quran, and I answer you. Well, this is false because simply the buildings is, exist even before. The city of Betra in Jordan is in the desert. It's it's built thousands of years before Muhammad. The same as the cities in Yemen, Sana'a, uh, uh, Ma'arib, etc. Uh, the, the the Queen Balkis, you know, they have high buildings. This is this is the desert. So this is a stupid. I'm asking you, can you give me a prophecy from the Quran about your prophet? Why are you Muslim calling him a prophet if the guy he couldn't have a good prophecy? All all his statement is a joke. As an example in the Quran. Does it say that Allah told Muhammad a prophecy about how the baby is made? Is it true? One second. I will give you a proper prophecy. Oh, okay, give that. me a prophecy. Sure, sure. Okay, the Byzantine, no, not this one. Let's look at the... The Byzantine? Well, this is a false prophecy because the Muhammad... The globalization of Islam. It's something that is happening right now. What, what? Globalization of Islam. Globalization of Islam. Well, your prophet, he said that Islam will go small as the snake goes back to its hole. What a globalization of Islam. Same time, you know, uh, uh, Islam is uh, not globalized because it is really spreading, but because of the Internet. You know, here we go. I am a city in country. You are a city in the country. If this is what, what make a prophecy, well, the Bible mentioned that long time before Muhammad and it's entered every house in the world. What does have to do with this? How that can be a prophecy? That's false. Every uh, religion, even okay. the Hindu, even the Hindus, even the Buddhist, even uh, Krishna. I heard about Krishna. Does that mean that uh, Krishna entered my house? No. There's many no. people heard about Muhammad and they laugh at Muhammad. Does that mean Muhammad entered our house? No. So 
Islam still is a dead religion, and you Muslims don't even follow Islam. Look at you in Muslim countries. Nobody want to follow Islam. Okay, good. This is your opinion. Do you listen to music? Mm, yes, I listen sometimes. Okay, according to Islam, you are going to go to hell, so you are not a Muslim, see? So even you who claim I, to be a die, you are I not practicing Islam. Now. My I'm friend. a human. Of course I am. Doing what do you mean you are a human? I'm, I'm human. so glad. Guys, he is a human. I thought you are not. Thank you for telling me. Who cares if you are a human or not? You're a prophet, he said, that Allah will make you a pig for listening to music. And you are telling me you are a human? So what? I'm listening to music, but I ask forgiveness every single time when I'm doing it. Ah, uh, so, but, but his hair, it say, doesn't say if he'll forgive you. It says Allah will make you a pig for listening to music. Yes. Uh, can we go and uh, you uh, put too many points that I want to uh, tell you about everything? Firstly, you ask about uh, a prophet, uh, something that Quran proves that Muhammad is a prophet, yes? No, hold on, hold on. If Muhammad, no, he said, go from there. okay, okay, in the front of us, we have a prophecy. It says, yes. people among my nation will drink wine, calling it by another na name, and the musical okay. instrument will be played for them. And singing okay. birds will sing for them. Allah will cause the earth to swallow them, and they will turn into turn them into monkeys and pigs. Okay, your prophet he made a prophecy. Name for me one Muslim he did those things, and Allah made him a pig or a monkey. Look around in every city. Do you see a lot of people? I see a lot of monkeys and pigs. He said the earth would swallow them, and will yeah. turn them into pigs and monkeys. Name for me one Muslim. Because he drank wine no, and he listened to you, singing the music, the no, earth is swallow you him. You just you just read something. Let's analyze it and uh, critically understand what does it mean. And uh, look what happens in the reality. So now, did the earth swallow any Muslim because he drank wine and because he listened to singing girls? Or this is all is a fraud? Did Allah, he made any Muslim a pig or a monkey beside you? What is earth? Tell me what is earth? Earth depends. If you are a person living in Pakistan, Earth for you is, uh, you know, Earth so is uh, this life. Earth is life. Earth. Oh, the okay. Earth is life swallows out and transforms people in pigs and monkeys. Because uh, the so Earth. Uh, so according Earth to your is, according to your understanding, the word Earth means pizza. Not pizza. How you? I don't know. So you are telling me, okay. So what is Earth? What is Earth? I don't understand. Earth is this what? Life, so the Earth will swallow life, you. This huh? life, this life, this life, this temporary life. So the word Earth now became life. <laughs> okay, yes. and the word pig would, is what? The people you... who don't obey the rules and go to drunk, sing okay. or whatever, they become right. like monkeys, so... like pigs. It doesn't say like pigs. It says Allah will turn them into pigs. Okay. What okay? Why you are lying uh, then? Go on Google right now. How you use uh, Google a lot. Uh, right pig. Description of the pig. And let's see. All right, our friend. Okay, nice talking to you. Nice, nice, nice talking to you. You know, like you are. So, I cannot even debate someone like you. You are so smart. I mean, that's it. You defeated me in two seconds. And officially, you want to debate me? Like, are you sure? Like, you type for me, you say, officially, I'm the one who challenged you officially?